Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I'm doing a book review on Sugar and Salt by Susan Wiggs. Read this on my Kindle. Got it for free from the library. So, um, I was super excited about this book. And I, seeing that it was coming out, I've been waiting for it at the library. Um, and then I, I put it on hold, had to wait a little while. And I was just super excited to, to read it because I love Susan Wiggs and this, I mean, look at the cover, guys. Hello, look at the cover. <laughs> so, overall, I think I'm going to give this book four and a half stars because I loved the book. It was really good. I finished it. It kept me interested. I love her writing style and everything. But there was just some parts that I didn't like. And the ending just kind of left me wanting more. Yeah. Anyway, overall it was good though. So we have Jerome. Jerome Sugar Barnes learned the art of baking in his grandma's bakery, also called Sugar, on historic Perdita Street in San Francisco. He supplies baked goods to the lost and found bookshop across the street. Okay, another thing I didn't know, um, this book is number four in the uh, Bella Vista Chronicles, which I read the other three books, but I did not realize that they're about the same area, which is, um, let me tell you what books they are. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized it when I pulled up Goodreads so I could read y'all the synopsis. Uh, ap the Apple Orchard, Orchard, which I read. Um, the Beekeeper's Ball, which I've read. And The Lost and Found Bookshop, which I've read. So I've read all, all of them. Um, and now that I think about it, it's about all the little shops right by each other. But they're definitely standalones. When the restaurant that shares his commercial kitchen loses its longtime tenant, a newcomer comes in, Margo Salton, a barbecue master from Texas. Margo isn't exactly on the run, but she needs a fresh start. She's taken care of herself her whole life, pulling herself up by her fingernails to recover from trauma, and her dream has been to open a restaurant somewhere far, far from Texas. The shared kitchen with Jerome Sugar's Bakery is the perfect setup. A state-of-the-art kitchen in a vibrant neighborhood popular with tourists and locals. So, that's a little bit misleading because the story is not about Jerome. It's about Margo. Which is kind of weird when you read the synopsis because it starts out talking about Jerome. Jerome is in it. He's... His bakery is next next door called Sugar, and Margo buys the restaurant that shares a kitchen with it, and she names it Salt. <laughs> Margo instantly takes to, to Jerome's grandmother, the lively, opinionated Ida, and the older woman proves to be a good mentor. Margo thinks Jerome is gorgeous, and despite their different backgrounds, their attraction is powerful. Even though Jerome worries that Margot will simply move on from him once she's found some peace and stability. But just as she starts to relax into a happy new future, Margot's past in Texas comes back to haunt her. So, the first part of the book, it, I mean the main character is Margot. And the very first part, she is, she's a barbecue pit master and she uh, makes homemade barbecue sauces, all different kinds, and we get a little bit of her backstory. So, sorry, I'm trying to grow my hair out a little bit, and it's been driving me nuts. <laughs> this is the point I would be going to get it cut, but I told myself I wasn't going to cut it until December, just to see how far I can go and if I like it a little longer. We'll see. 
<laughs> okay, so anyway, Margot is our our main character, and we do get a little backstory. Um, she was raised by a single mother who ran a food truck, who was, you know, a major foodie also, and she learned everything from her. Her mother has passed away. Now, margot has been on her own since she was like 16. Um, the middle of the book was the best part of the book because it tells uh, Margot's um, trauma that happened in Texas and the reason she left and moved to, I think it's San Francisco. Um, yeah, that, that's the best part of the book. Very heartfelt, very, uh, I enjoyed it a lot. The beginning and the end were not as good for me, and the ending was just kind of, what's the word, abrupt, maybe? I don't know. Because, like, you know when you get to the end of the book and you usually know it, you're like, okay. Well, this one, I really didn't know it, and I turned the page, and that was it. And I was like, oh. Which, it was tied up, but it left me wanting a little more. But, I do have to say, now that I know that this is part of, uh, I guess, a series, even though the books are standalones, that kind of makes sense because if she writes another book that goes, you know, it's the same area, maybe she'll revisit them. The, the, I don't know. <laughs> because I can't really remember what the other three books were about. And, because it's been a while since I read them. And now I wish that um, I had known, and I probably would have reread those other three books first and then read Sugar and Salt. Because I read so much that <clears throat> books go in and they go out. <laughs> so for me to remember, like, I would have had to read the first three books. Uh, to remember anything about, yeah, <laughs> especially if it wasn't recent that I read the other three, then I definitely needed to read the other three, but they're standalones, so that's good. Anyway, I would recommend it, four and a half stars, but I think I would recommend that you read the other three first, just because, um, you don't have to, I mean, they're, like I said, they're standalones. But, yeah, I'd read the other ones first. It is The Apple Orchard, The Beekeeper's Ball, The Lost and Found Bookshop, and then Sugar and Salt. And that's all I got, guys. Four and a half stars. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check back for more book videos. And if you don't know... My husband and I have started a new channel called Live, Laugh, Love to Roam. It's all about our RV travels and traveling and living full-time RV life. So if you're interested in that, I'll put a link in the description box below. Thanks, friends. I'll see you next time.